I am going to make some vegan mac and cheese in my Dash mini rice cooker. Counter cooking. No kitchen, no problem. Right now I have my rice cooker full of water. It is heating up. As soon as it comes up to a boil, I will be adding about half cup of dry elbow macaroni. And then I'm gonna cook this and then we're gonna drain it and then we're gonna add our vegan cheese. The water's boiling. I'm gonna be really careful. I'm gonna lift the lid. I'm gonna put my noodles in there and I'm gonna cover this and then we're gonna let this cook until the noodles are soft, probably around 10 minutes. This is what I'm using as the cheese portion of this mac and cheese. This is Trader Joe's Organic Creamy Cashew Fiesta Dip. It's a dairy-free cheese dip alternative. Now I tried this for the first time the other day and it reminded me of nacho cheese sauce, almost like a Velveeta cheese sauce. Um, I did not have it heated up. Um, I just ate it um, kind of cold like this with a few crackers dipped into it just to taste it to see what it was about. And that's what it was about. So I think this would make a really nice vegan mac and cheese. And to give you an idea of what's in here, the ingredients are water, organic cashews, organic potatoes, organic carrots, organic onions, organic green chili peppers, organic tomato paste, sea salt, organic distilled vinegar, organic garlic powder, natural flavors, and organic jalapeno peppers. And this is what it looks like. It is cold out of the refrigerator. It just basically looks like a congealed cheese dip. To cook noodles in a rice cooker, you don't need to keep the lid on. Uh, sometimes it's better to take it off, which is what I just did, and I'm gonna stir the noodles around. It's been 10 minutes, the pasta is perfectly cooked, so I am going to drain it and return it to this pot. The pasta is drained, and I have this little tiny colander. Isn't this adorable? I think I got this at Ikea. So right now, the rice cooker is still on warm, and I just added like a heaping teaspoonful of this cheese. And what I wanna do is I just wanna mix it around so it kind of melts in with the pasta. And I might need to add some more of uh, the cheese. We'll see how, how this goes. We'll see how much it spreads around. And there we have it. There's a yummy bowl of vegan mac and cheese. I did not have to add any more of the cheese mixture. What I will add is some additional salt because normally when you eat mac and cheese, like mac and cheese from a box, it is super salty. So I'm gonna add some salt. I'll probably add some black pepper and maybe even a little bit of hot sauce. So there we have it. I just added some salt and some black pepper and also some cayenne pepper just to kind of uh, give it a little bit more flavor. I do like my mac and cheese um, with more flavors. So now let's taste this. That is really good. I honestly think if you fed this to somebody and you did not tell them that this was vegan mac and cheese, they would never know. Especially with the salt added to it because cheese is naturally salty, much more so than the ingredients that are in the uh, cashew dip. But it looks like regular mac and cheese. Uh, it feels like regular mac and cheese in your mouth. Like the sauce just feels like a regular uh, cheesy sauce and it tastes like mac and cheese. So this is how easy it is to make some vegan mac and cheese in a Dash mini rice cooker. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to this channel if you'd like me to post more videos like this one. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.